Hello, third and second grade students. Today we are going to be learning about Pacific Northwest Native American arts. We are going to be talking about the beautiful totem poles that are created within the Northwest Pacific Native American culture. They're usually carved from wood, and in this case, we're going to be creating our own version using paper and mixed media materials. Today you are going to get a booklet that will have a couple of examples of the fun figures that you could find in a um, Northwest Pacific totem pole. Usually they are abstracted images of different types of animals. Here are a couple of the examples, like a bear, a frog, an eagle, an owl, a turtle, a shark, a wolf, a dogfish, a goat, and you can also create some of your own. I'll show you a couple of examples that I um, have used, different animals I've used. And these are Native American dwellings that we're gonna use to create the backgrounds for our totem poles. As you can see, I made a couple of backgrounds that I have not finished yet, and we'll talk more about that in part two of this video series. So you can see I did an owl in mine. This is obviously not a completed one, but I did an owl, a turtle, a bear, and I think that was the goat at the bottom. I've done some and created my own, like once I did an alligator, and we'll talk about how you can create that um, style, abstract style animal when you're creating your own totem pole. So as I look at the strip of paper, you're each going to receive a strip of paper that looks like this, and you can choose to do one that's going to cross over in case you wanna do one of the um, birds that have wings, like the owl here, or the eagle. You can choose to glue that right at the top if you would like. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add that added piece of paper to my totem pole paper. I'm gonna use a little bit of glue here, put glue right on the center, and glue it right across, kind of makes a cross, leaving a little space for the owl or eagle's head at the top. So once I have that glued on, I'm ready to move on to the drawing. So using the examples that I gave you, you can use those to get ideas for your animals. You can also use your imagination. I'm gonna start by making um, the owl. And I'm kind of looking at the examples that were on the handouts, but I'm also kind of adding some details that make it more my own as well. So I started with the head. One of the things you're gonna notice is that these animals all look very boxy. You want the animals to reach all the way from one side to the other side of the paper. Um, it's going to look like it was carved from the trunk of a tree. Traditionally, totem poles are not carved animals by animals and stacked together. They are carved all into one tall um, trunk of a tree. So I'm going to start my wings here, coming down on the side, hence the reason why we added that additional paper. And you'll also notice that a lot of these um, animal abstract animal characters have abstract patterns and shapes on them. So using some geometric shapes or organic shapes to fill in the body parts. So that's how I made my owl look more abstract, was by adding these geometric shapes inside of its body. The next one I'm gonna create, I think I'm going to do my own, and I'm gonna create an alligator, which I'm gonna start with the alligator eyes along this top here, and then I'm gonna bring the nose of the alligator and make its jagged teeth. Now remember I said you have to make it kind of boxy, so although this is that part of the body, I need to add the rest of the body. So I'm gonna add kind of a rectangle for the body and then some claws feet. Now I'm gonna think about what my eyes would look like. And maybe I want to add some scales 
So I created that alligator from my imagination, not from the handouts, and you can do that. And you're gonna fit as many animals as you can fit in your totem pole. I think you can fit about three, you can fit three to four um, animals in each of your totem pole papers or on your totem pole paper. I'm gonna go ahead and do, I think since, I think I'm gonna do like the bear. So I'm gonna start with the ears. Once again, it's a boxy shape, so I'm going, it's gonna look more like just the head of the bear. It's not going to be the full body. I'm gonna to choose to make nostrils that are spiraled, make the shapes inside my ears, my eyes. Um, maybe I'll do another shape inside of those eyes. Um, connect these to there. Uh, I'm going to do a big mouth. And now I'm going to move on to my last creature, which I'm going to do a high back turtle. So there's the beginning of my turtle. I know I need to make the head of my turtle. And then I th start thinking about the shapes on the turtle's back or on his turtle shell. Filling in the bodies with those geometric shapes really give it that Northwest Pacific um, look. So there is the last animal in my totem pole. Now, the thing about totem poles is they tell a story. So I did not create a story before I made my totem pole, but traditionally they would have a story that they would build the totem pole to illustrate. Um, so maybe my turtle met a bear in the woods and they were attacked by an alligator and an owl swooped down and saved them. And sometimes totem poles are also um, made to describe uh, a family or a story about a family and sometimes they're posted out in front of homes um, as a totem pole that says something about the family or um, is a story about the family. So boys and girls, once you have your characters drawn in pencil, the last thing that I'm gonna have you do today is start by sharpening all of your pencil lines. And obviously if there's some lines you didn't like, you don't have to trace them and you can erase them after you're done going over all your pencil lines with the Sharpie. Take your time on this part. And in the next video series, I'll share with you how we're going to be adding color with the on these with Mr. Sketch Markers to make them stand out in our pictures. So have fun creating your totem poles. And I'll show you more in the next video. Have a good day.